the numerator of the given limit is root of a plus 2x minus root of 3x. Now multiply and divide this by root of a plus 2x plus root 3x. Now the denominator of the limit is given to be root of 3a plus x minus 2 root x. Multiply and divide this by root of 3a plus x plus 2 root x. Now combine the first two terms in the numerator. So the given limit is equal to limit extending to a a plus 2x minus 3x. Similarly, combine the last two terms in the denominator, which results in 3a plus x minus 4x in the denominator. The remaining term in the numerator is root of 3a plus x plus 2 root x. And the remaining term in the denominator is root of a plus 2x plus root 3x. Therefore, the given limit is equal to limit x tending to a, a minus x, divided by 3a minus 3x, multiplied by root of 3a plus x plus 2 root x, divided by root of a plus 2x plus root 3x. This is equal to the limit x tending to a, a minus x divided by 3 times a minus x multiplied by root of 3a plus x plus 2 root x divided by root of a plus 2x plus root 3x. A minus x cancels across the numerator and the denominator. And putting x is equal to a, the value of this limit is equal to 1 upon 3 times root 4a plus 2 root a divided by root 3a plus root 3a. This is equal to 1 upon 3 times 4 root a divided by 2 times root 3a. Root a cancels across the numerator and the denominator and this whole expression simplifies to 2 upon 3 root 3. Multiply and divide by root 3, we get 2 root 3 divided by 9. And this is the required value of the limit.